off radar on somewhere right here uh d distinctively no measurements i'm just gonna free ball uh i'm gonna not free ball this i'm gonna free eye this or i just eyeball this rather hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel i found some old footage of the exhaust work that i've been working on and that little crossbar underneath the car and uh just kind of want to talk about it for a little bit now looking at it from this angle it is a super tight squeeze between the chassis and the floor pan and uh, i have this oval exhaust piping that a friend of mine gave me and it almost wants to fit and i thought maybe i can like just cut a little section out of it these two little splinters and maybe just weld it back together you know and just slim it up a bit so i figured i would try that just to see if i could at least get to fit between the floor pan and the uh that cross member there that i made and at first glance it did come out pretty good and i was pretty happy with it and it did however fit between the floor and the chassis that i made um, it's still a little close and it was at this point where i thought like uh, i might wiggle and hit and make some racket and some noise and whatnot so i was on the fence about it right there and then but the more i looked at it it did look like it was gonna work and I even went out of the way to make sure it had the same volume. So what I did here was I took a piece of cardboard paper and wrapped around two and a half inch pipe and just kind of taped it together just to get the outside diameter. And I, you know, I just pulled it off. And then I just kind of stuck it inside the, uh, the new oval pipe that I made and it actually fit pretty good. The oval was still a little bit bigger than the cardboard template I just used. So I knew I had enough volume going through the exhaust so that should have been fine and then i just kept going along i made this v-band clamp already attached to a two and a half inch pipe and i thought all right now i gotta route this whole thing i thought i was gonna try and sneak a flat tube through here something along the lines of uh this i made this up the other day something like this i didn't totally finish it i was kind of working on it but the idea i had was i was gonna slide it in between the floor and this uh pipe going across which is all fine and dandy, but once it's a full exhaust, you ain't getting this V-band clamp. You ain't getting it through there. So back to the drawing board. So what I'm thinking is, I can still do my exhaust coming from that circle piece there, coming straight down, do another bend, and then still shoot that way. But this pipe's in the way. And I hate to do it, but I'm gonna end up cutting a section out of here in here and doing a circle to give it clearance. If I ran the pipe underneath it, it'd work, but it's a little too, too low to the ground for me. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to cut into this, but uh, I really don't have any other choice if I want to run this exhaust out the back, which I definitely want to run the exhaust out the back of this car. So here's what I have: got this inch and a half uh, M tubing, and uh, I can't get the radius I want, so I put some slits in it. And then it gives me the radius I want, except I put way too many slits in this. Four too many to be exact. So I did four slits in this one and I fully welded it and I grinded it back smooth. So yeah, once I get that hoop like that, that's kind of the exhaust will run underneath. So it does support the transmission. So if I get this in there, cut it and weld it in, maybe I can do like another, uh, a gusset from this angle here to this pipe over here, like a triangle. It should put some a little bit of strength back back into this. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go for it. I think we'll be all right though. A lot of the weight is on these motor mounts up here. And on this one up here too. So yeah. Uh, I have no idea how else I could really do this. I don't want to go through the side of the fender, and I don't want to go through the hood, the bonnet. I want it to go out the back, and uh, I just don't think this is going to work. It was cool while I was, you know, I was getting used to my new welder doing this thing, doing the digging. But uh, it just, I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's not really my style, but I tried it. It didn't work. So I'll go with this. I'm not using this one. This is just like a scrap piece I had. And I can't get that radius in my pipe bender. So this is the one I'm gonna use. I'll kind of branch off of it. I'll probably do another bend coming this way, like an S. 
and on the other side another s that way it'll all kind of line back up you know Yeah, grind on them welds, put them in the lathe, smooth them out. Oh, they came out great. All right, picking up straight from the last video, I'm making my marks for my drill holes here. And I, uh, I spaced them out. I got seven holes on this side, a couple on this side, one in here and seven on this side. Spaced them out at two and a half inches. Over here is two and a half, and this side is two, two inches. A little shorter but just to kind of make it look even so right now i'm just I already got my little marks you can't see them but they're there i'm just going to punch them out and then i'll drill them out all right i'll get these drilled out and uh, get this marker off and we'll see what we got So now I need to get this level back on my lines here and I'll get it clamped down and I'll uh, start drilling my holes here. So what I'll do is I'll try to get a, I'll try to get one drilled in the corners and I'll just throw a nut and bolt through it for now, just to hold there. And then I can continue on doing all of them. And I'll throw a nut in as I go to try and keep it, uh, all the holes pretty good lined up. All right, I got the last of my holes drilled over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick these bolts through and uh, make sure they all line up correctly. Uh, these are not the ones I'm gonna be using. These are just kind of what I have right now. I had to order some. So I'll get these in there and mocked up. Once I know they all fit and everything, I'll pull it back apart and uh, I'll get all the marker off, the PB blaster off. I'll clean up some of the edges here on these uh, holes. Get nice and smoothed out. And I don't know if I can weld this in a car quite yet. I don't really want to use these uh, these nuts welded on the back of this plate yet. I ordered some flange nuts that I think will be better for the job. Uh, these are just cheap, cheap hardware I got the, the store. They're, it's not so that I want to hold the car or this panel to with, but uh, they work great for this. So uh, yeah, let me get this, get these going. Seems like they're all fitting. All the holes lined up, so I think I'm safe. I'll just pull it back apart and get it cleaned up. 
All right, there you guys have it. Access panel nearly complete. Uh, I'm using uh, M5 bolts, nuts. Yeah, they're a little on the small side, but I think with how many I have here, it should be fine. But like I said, once I get better hardware, I will be uh, just tack welding these to the back side of here. So it'll be nice and easy to remove. Obviously shorter bolts too. Got a little on the long side. But yeah, it's gonna be going for now. But I can't weld this in until I get these bolts nuts weld on the back. So I'll see if uh, something else I can do in the meantime until those come in. Uh, yeah, let's get this back in the car and see what it looks like. Looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. I ain't driving like a bus over here. Let's put this back down. Right there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Now behind the shifter here, I'm hoping to do definitely one cup holder. I might be able to fit another one right behind it. I think one is uh, pretty good though. I'll see how I wanna do that. But again, since this panel's not welded in yet, I guess it'd be cool just to take it back out and uh, look at a cup holder or something. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's cool. That's gonna be nice. Nice to have. And obviously, if you don't know me by now, I will be doing the hydraulic e-brake on top. And there's still enough room for a phone holder and you know whatever else I can think to put in that access panel. That is the brass shift knob. Going back a couple episodes, probably one of the first episodes I decided to make that. Uh, it looks pretty good. Maybe I'll go down a little bit. It's a little high, but uh, yeah, I can uh, I can cut it, make some new threads, and bring it down a bunch if I want to get like a little short shifter action here. All right, guys, I was just taking a break and it's uh, snowing out there. But anyways, I was just coming back over here and I uh, have this three-inch pipe, stainless steel exhaust tubing so i think i'm gonna use this to make a, a cup holder and i have some brass too yeah let's see if we can make something kind of cool over here uh first i'm just gonna get my overall length i'm gonna use this piece as a, a spot where the cup will go in or a bottle or a can whatever you want to do for a drink we'll go in here probably gonna cut this off right around somewhere right here uh d distinctively no measurements i'm just gonna free ball uh, i'm gonna not free ball this i'm gonna free eye this or I just eyeball this rather. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I already got my cutoff tool in here, heavily modified, of course. And yeah, let me get this cut off. 